Welcome to RCHelp.com. I'm Tony, and today we're going to continue on with the 450 Pro build, uh, version 2. We've already went through page 8 in the manual, uh, pretty much installing the servos. Now, I'm pretty sure we're going to take the servos back out of this frame, because if you look down in there, you can't quite see the motor mounting screws where they're going to go. So, more than likely we'll have to remove these to put the motor in. Not a real big deal. Uh, I just wanted to follow along with the instructions to find out if something was fixed and it wasn't. But today we're going to be starting on page 9 and that's when we start getting into putting the tail together, getting all the torque tube gears in, uh, making sure all these screws back here on this metal plate have uh, thread lock on them and basically getting the tail put together is what we're going to do today. So what you're going to need 450 Henry Tom, 450 Henry Tom 7, and then 450 Henry Tom 8. Tail boom, uh, the rear block, and then the front block. Now, if yours is like mine, whenever you get it, the bearing's gonna be on here, and the, shat, the torque tube's gonna be inside the tail boom, and then you're gonna have to dig out this rubber piece. All right, these we do not need, so we're gonna set them aside. Now, at this time, we don't need any of these pieces, so we're just gonna leave them in the package. Hey, look, more screws. I got all of our stuff set out and base there's not really much that we need to do on this front block make sure that your bearings are nice and smooth take it apart make sure there's no gunk inside which i highly doubt that there is wow that was a tight fit the first thing you want to do is inspect these umbrella gears and make sure the bearings are rolling free make sure there's no teeth missing off of them I and mean, there shouldn't be we haven't flown it yet but as anyone knows i have extreme problems <laughs> with these gears Everything seems to look really well in this one. Because this is a torque tube and not a belt, we can go ahead, put this back together, and move on to the next step. As you can see, I mean, there's no thread lock, no nothing on this front block here. All right, now down here, we've got all of these screws that actually hold this entire piece together. They're not showing the grips on this one, but it basically just shows you an exploded diagram of what we're dealing with. Over here, it's gonna show you everything and show you where you need to apply some thread lock. Now, it's saying to apply thread lock on this little bitty nut that's down here in the slider. So what we're gonna to need to do is pretty much take all of this apart so that we can get to that nut and make sure it has thread lock on it. We also need to take these screws out of the blade grips, take the screws out of here and separate all this so that we can make sure that there's thread lock in here on the uh, on the bolt that holds the blade grips together. Need to make sure there's thread lock on every single screw in this entire thing. This part could take a while. All right, I went through every single screw, taking it out and redid it. Now, this little grub screw that's in the side of here, this thing was so unbelievably tight that I thought I was about to break this and I am almost positive I would have stripped this piece out. I was able to get it out, uh, re-thread lock it and all that. Everything is still real nice and smooth. It spins nice and free. This will free up. After all, it is a new helicopter. And whenever you put this back together, make sure the center part comes out flush with this tail shaft so you can get the most amount of pitch. It says that, where was it? Right here. You wanna make sure that everything has enough room to move and give you full pitch. On this screw here, I also took it out. None of these screws were tight. This screw was loose. Uh, all of these screws were loose. You want to make sure that you go through these and put thread lock on them. But I went through every one of these and everything's looking great now. So now that we went through all this, now we get to start doing some assembly. The first thing we're going to do, since we have this in our hand, is go ahead and we're going to put the blade grips on, get a little thread lock on these screws, and just get that knock out of the way. In these steps, you're going to need what's in this package. Trusty pocket knife. Look at all the goodies. Now remember, if it's going to be facing you like this, this part needs to be going down. You always want it turning counterclockwise. That way, the centrifugal force of it is actually trying to pull this tail up and not push it down. Because of that, the back tail blade should have the trailing edge facing up. You don't want these extremely tight, but you don't want them so loose that they just kind of flop around under their own power. I don't like that, which I guess if you're running torque tube, you can put them that loose, but you're gonna to have to kind of spread these out a little bit on the grips. I just leave mine to where they kind of hold their own. It's basically just snug on the screw. I don't know, I keep stripping out gears. I may start letting these things just flop around and we'll see what happens. 
on the actual torque tube itself you can read right here basically you want to measure your torque tube and then from the center line measure 10 to 15 millimeters or one to one and a half centimeters ahead of that line towards the front of the helicopter that's where you're going to want to put a little drop of ca and glue this bearing in place this is a carbon shaft this is no longer aluminum i find that really nice clean this off get a little ca and drop it on there that way whenever we put the rubber piece over it and then lube it we can just push all this up into the tail boom and we're done with that there's none of that putting it in and trying to poke it down in there and all that we'll just ca it in and we're done now the ci i'm using is just a medium thickness a little bit goes a really long way i'd rather use the medium than the thin because the thin likes to run everywhere but you get your ca on there carefully push that bearing you don't want it to get into that dust cover and it actually says that in here if you get it in the dust cover that'll cause the bearing to lock up now that we got the bearing locked in place take that piece of rubber and just force it over it and make sure that it seats down and that it's nice and square to the actual torque tube and now i'll bring back my team trinity oil and we're pretty much going to soak this thing in this oil we're going to be putting this in from the front so i'm going to put the oil here in the front of the boom and then just kind of spread it around then slide that in there and because that oil it should go in real nice once you get your torque tube pushed in you got about that much hanging out of the front Go ahead and spread the back of the case apart, stick that in there, and make sure it engages those gears. Then you can go ahead and squeeze that back closed, make sure your tail boom won't spin. Now that is all that is sticking out the back. Now before we put this back piece on, we need to get the two uh, leakage rod stabilizers put on there. If you notice, these do not have any sort of nuts or bolts to tighten them down. We're going to put a zip ties through them. And they say put a dab of CA. Uh, I am not CA in my boom, I don't think. This piece can be split apart, so we're not going to put it on yet. Once you got the front block on, we'll go ahead and just insert this into the tail block. Make sure you pull this little black piece out, because that's got your little button that's going to lock everything in place. Make sure everything's seated in with the torque tube, and then find out where that hole is and lock it in place now it won't spin now what we can do is we can take one of these out at a time and get this stabilizer stuck on there and just like with anything else you don't want to go crazy on tightening this that little button inside that little plastic piece is going to do a lot to help keep this thing in place but now it spins nice and free doesn't feel like there's a lot of play everything looks great so now the other things we need to do is we need to get our night head rods tail stabilizers whatever you want to call them and we'll go ahead and just get them loosely secured to the side of this piece. Now if you look on here, the screw hole is actually going to be towards the front. Like I said, the keyword here is loosely. Once that's done, we'll go ahead and separate these two halves. Take your horizontal stabilizer. We're going to need to put those bolts through it. And then with your tail sitting the way that it's going to be on the helicopter, we know that this piece is going to go roughly in this general direction for this general area now remember you need one of these in front and one of these in the back to hold your linkage rod the correct way a couple more little dabs of thread lock and secure it on again we're doing this loosely you want to be able to still move all this because we've still got to attach all this to the frame now what we want to do is we want to get our little control rod and go ahead and stick one of these ends on it you may have to hold it with a pair of pliers. You definitely don't want to bend it. So make sure when you're holding it with pliers, you're not holding it on the uh, threads themselves. Unfortunately, my micrometer is not the proper length for this, but it does give you a length. Once we got that on, just slide it through the little holes. Now, we can grab another one and secure this in. Once that's done, don't forget about your A facing the outside. We can go ahead and pop this one on. Now, we should have working pitch. Everything should be nice and smooth. But again, we're not going to put the zip ties down in here until we know exactly where all this is going to go. Like I said, that's going to be for in the next video. Right now, this is pretty much all we can do 
The only other piece that was left in that bag is this right here, and this is what you're going to use in place of your fly bar to check your pitch. Again, this is for way later down the line. So guys, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. Come over to the forum if you guys need any help with any of this. It doesn't matter. Cars, trucks, airplanes, helicopters, hovercraft. You come over and you let us know what you need help with. We're going to find you the help. We are RC Help, the RC Information Source. I want to thank you guys for watching. We'll see you in the next video.